I'm still sitting here at 34. I have been playing my 16 year old son's funeral. I can't quite make sense of it. It was here near the corner of Upshur and 7th Streets Northwest where Juanita Colbreth lost her 16 year old son Friday morning. After DC police say they found him dead from gunshot wounds and a man injured in a car that crashed into this parked vehicle. Cassius Khan Glay. That's my baby. He was such, 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 such a good kid. Such a blessing. On a road student. I just opened up his report card Friday night. Cassius got all A's and one B man. Juanita called her son a tech whiz who had dreams of starting a business with his older sister, Juane. That was my best friend. We was really close. And I, just, I, I really just want everybody to know that he had a family and he did have people that loved him. More than anything, the family is angry with the community and its leaders. All this Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. I want Black Lives to really matter. Like our community have to be held accountable as a whole. We have to do more for these kids. We can't just keep letting this go go on. She said she tried to get help from different organizations after her son watched his best friend get murdered in August, a tragically increasing trend. Police data shows DC's homicide rate is now 25% higher than the same time last year. So many people have flooded my house now that my son is deceased. I wish my door was flooded like this when he was alive. He'll probably still be here with us. I'm just one single mother of six, and I've been advocating for my kids from day one. I can't do it by myself. Juanita wants to protect other mothers from this feeling as she honors the life of her oldest boy. Anybody that encountered cases, they loved him, like <laughs> everybody. In Northwest DC, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.